That's tough. You know, obviously, uh, we got to find a way to get a point out of that game for sure. And I think we played a really good game, you know, but, um, you know, details, we got to make sure that, you know, in those moments of the games, we're bearing down and understand the importance of it. And, you know, good teams find a way to win their good team and um, they capitalize on some of our mistakes. I guess that was my next question. Where can that late game management improve and making sure that when you are in these situations that these issues don't crop up? Well, I just think that you got to manage the game at that point. You know, we work ourselves back into it from 3-1 to tie it up and there's a minute left and your mindset on the ice has got to be to protect protect your D zone. And, you know, if, if a bounce happens and we get a break and we can create something, then great. But we can't be looking to try to create something out of nothing. I'm not saying that's what we're trying to do, but I think in those moments that's the way you have to approach it. And I think... Uh, you know, just from my time in the league, that's that's the best way to, to approach it, I think, anyway. And I think that's what we try to do. But in those moments, we, like I said, we just have to pay more attention to detail. And, um, you know, whoever's on the ice, we got to make sure that we get the job done. If this ends up being a playoff matchup, do you feel like you're on, on, on pretty even ground with them at this point? Oh, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable playing any team in our, in our division, our conference. I think we've shown that we can match up against anybody. And... You know, it's crazy that we didn't get a goal in the first 10 minutes of the game. With we peppered them 10 shots in the first 10 minutes, and you know, but but uh, you know, it's it's good teams find a way to weather the storm early. They did, and they got one on the power play early, which uh, you know kind of set them up. And you know, we battled back hard in the game. But I think we did a lot of things well. There's a lot of good things to take from that game. But you want to be a great team, you got to find ways to win or to hold hold off the opponent and in the last few minutes of a game like that. And we worked so hard the whole game, I, I felt that we deserved some points, for sure. I, know, I think we played a good game 5-on-5, five five, but they got two power plays. We also have a good power play, so we got to stay out of the box. But we fought back, but they got a late call, and we got to tie that up. Is it harder at this point in the season when you know that in these past few games you have played solid games, but you've come up empty in terms of points? Is it hard to rec you know, reconcile the two, knowing that at this time of the year you need those points, just even if you are playing well as a team? Of course, we, it's frustrating. We've we got we to gotta try to clean it up and, and try to win, at least get a point or, or take it to overtime. And, but uh, we're going on the road here. We've got we gotta three tough games ahead, so it's going to be a hard battle. I thought for the most part we played another solid game, Montreal and uh, tonight against the Hawks. And, you know, just mistakes at the end killed us. And, um, you know, you know you just got to find ways to, to be able to at least get games to overtime when it's tied late like that, and, uh, and then uh, it's anybody's game. But uh, pretty, pretty frustrating all when we do all that work, and then you know at the end it's just you know, they're able to get one pass. Killer isn't that two of these back to back where you're there in the final minute and you can't get it? Yeah, yeah. Obviously it's frustrating, but uh, on the upside we we've played two good hockey games and done a lot of great things. Just two mistakes have cost us and. That's the NHL. There's, there's, there's some great players, and they'll make you pay. So, uh, moving forward, just gonna, gotta try and you know, make sure it doesn't happen. During the outcome of the past two games, where can your team improve in terms of late game management? Well, they're both different scenarios. Um, you know, tonight we had numbers on the rush. We ended up getting caught. I think the other game was a little bit different, where we try to execute the play and. 15 seconds to go in a game. Um, again, it hasn't been an issue all year, but certainly the last two games, you know, we've given up a late lead with a minute to go in the game or less. And, uh, that makes it difficult. So just a, a breakdown tonight, I guess uh, somebody failed to pick up Campbell there, going down the slot. Uh, we had, again, we had numbers back there. Um, you know, I think we were pursuing Taves. He's the type of player that can draw attention where you want to make sure you're covered on him. Um, as he pulled up, I thought our guys backed off the pile, but just didn't have the angle on the passing game. Abs and flows of tonight, did you were you satisfied for the most part with how you played? I thought our guys played extremely hard. I thought they battled back. Uh, you know, we were ready to play from the start. Um, I think Chicago maybe got caught a little bit in the first seven or eight minutes. Um, working their way into that game and our guys are ready to play but they're a, they're a class uh, 
team in place, uh, able to turn turn their game around if it doesn't start the way they want. They're, um, they have the potential to take a, a start like that and turn it into a game where they're competing and playing at a high level, and they did that. Um, and then from there, it was we knew it was going to be a tough fight the whole game, but. You know, went back and forth. I thought our guys, like I said, were ready to play and just hate the hate the outcome.